Hi, I'm J.T. Curtis from John Curtis Christian School here in New Orleans, Louisiana. We've had a tremendous amount of interest in our beer option offense over the last few years, and one of the defenses that we face on a regular basis is the 4-3. And today we're going to try to discuss and help you understand how we attack the 4-3 with our uh, beer option, and hopefully how we give that defense some difficulty in trying to stop the option. Basically, as you can see, that we're in a traditional 4-3, with the two deep coverage. Obviously, you can also run the 4-3 with the strong safety and a three deep coverage, but most of the time when we face 4-3, we're gonna see some type of two shell or some type of cover four. A little bit later, Jeff Curtis, our running back and quarterback coach, will come up and explain to you exactly how we try to attack this defense and how we would try to employ the passing game to help us attack this defense. If you look at the 4-3, the difficulty that you have in the traditional veer package is that there is no man to read on the outside shoulder of the tackle. He is off the line of scrimmage. So one of our rules is that we never try to read the bubble area. And in our particular option, we think that because it is a triple option and because we teach our quarterback to read, that it is important that we maintain that same philosophy. So if we're going to face it, a 4-3 defense, then we want the quarterback to know and understand that we're never going to read the bubble. So we have to be able to determine how you're playing us at this area in order for us to have success with the 4-3. The other thing that we try to do is find a way to control this middle linebacker. The middle linebacker in a 4-3 is usually the stud, the guy that makes the big hit, the guy that's probably the best run player on the defense. So we need to find a way that we can control that middle linebacker with our play, uh, not only in our option, but also with a complementary play off of our option. Attacking the weak side in the 4-3 is also an interesting concept because what we feel like that we're capable of doing is finding a way to make this secondary have to respect the weak side because of the triple option weak and create some problems for them strong. And the two deep shell gives them the advantage weak side because they have defenders for all three phases of the option, but we think puts them in some difficulty to the strong side because they don't have enough defenders to de defend the triple option. The other thing that we want to try to do is be able to attack the off tackle hole with something besides the outside veer. One of the plays that we like to run is a power play where we're going to run the ball off tackle and make the blocking scheme look exactly like outside veer. And if you're stepping your linebacker outside in order to play the quarterback, then we're able to run the ball with power off tackle and have had a lot of success through the years causing that defense to create some problems with our power play off tackle. So as we progress through this 4-3 defense, we hope that we're able to attack it in a way that will be meaningful to you and give you an edge as you play the 4-3 and the 2-deep shell. One of the other things that we think is really an advantage is that we can log this play or that we can block this play down and pull this guard for the responsibility of the quarterback. And again, because of the action of the...